Saturday is Veterans Day, November 11th. And as a Navy veteran, I want to wish all our veterans in San Diego County a happy Veterans Day uh, this Saturday. Uh, it's with great pleasure also to recognize one of the oldest American legions in my district, the American Legion J.B. Clark Post 149 from Escondido. They're going to be celebrating, celebrating their 100th year anniversary next year in 2024, so we look forward to uh, this spe very special occasion. And it's also my honor to welcome here uh, it, up front is Commander Jennifer Holden, who you're currently a, a nurse at the Camp Pendleton? I am. In the Navy, okay. Uh, point that out later. Uh, and and uh, she's also brought her leadership team, her husband, Steph Holden, Marine, and, oh, Navy as well, oh, good. Oh, and then former mayor of Escondido, Paul McNamara, Marine. Marines, okay. Thank you. So I appreciate you all making the drive down here today. Uh, Veterans of Day is a time when we all give thanks to those who served, survived, and remember those who paid the ultimate price for our freedoms. So, so Americans, we can live in peace. And I hope we all take the time on this long weekend to commemorate those who have served in our military. So I'm going to be uh, uh, honored and be celebrating Veterans Day at the American Legion uh, in Escondido. This Veterans Day, they're going to be hosting a Veterans Festival and Parade. So hopefully everybody can come out and join us. Uh, the American Legion Post 149 participates in many community activities and is partnering with the Brothers of Six Charities, Inc., to co-host the 2023 annual Escondido Festival and Parade. Post 149, they enjoy mentoring youth, sponsoring wholesome programs, advocating patriotism, and providing a place where veterans and their families can gather, relax, play games, build friendships with other local veterans. And Paul McNamara and Steph and, and Jennifer have always inv invited me over to their Friday afternoon gatherings where it's, it's really a, 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 a collective group of veterans a, a, and, and politicians, believe it or not, uh, from both sides of the parties, uh, working together, talking together, and enjoying good times and, and uh, hopefully making some good friendships. So the County of San Diego is committed to recognizing and honoring all organizations that are dedicated to the best ideals of public service and the American Legion, J.B. Clark, Post 149 in Escondido is one such worthy organization. So therefore, be it proclaimed by myself and the San Diego Board of Supervisors on this seventh day of November, 2023, that we commend Commander Jennifer Holden for her outstanding leadership and for the American Legion, J.B. Clark, Post 149, for sponsoring scholarships for children, giving aids and assistance to our local veterans in need and their families and also making a very positive impact on our communities. To hereby declare today to be American Legion J.B. Clark Post 149 Day throughout San Diego County. So we have a proclamation to present. Thank you. I'll let you, I'll let you come up and okay. speak. Okay, but real quickly, Jennifer's gonna come up and say a few words, but just a little bit on her background. Uh, she ex actually started in the Navy Nursing ROTC scholarship program. She graduated cum laude with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. She's commissioned an ensign in the Navy, and she's serving as an officer and currently a nurse at the Naval Hospital Camp Pendleton. So, Commander, there you go. Very much so. Uh, good morning. Thank you. Um, I want to say thank you to County Supervisor Desmond. Thank you very much. And for the rest of the County Board of Supervisors. Um, I would also definitely like to say thank you to uh, my leadership team, my husband, uh, Steph, and my uh, good friend, Paul McNamara. Um, they are my first and second vice commanders. And no American Legion post sing is run single-handedly by the commander. Um, I have been blessed with great people to help keep my post running like a well-oiled machine. And not all of the leadership team is here, but uh, they are here in spirit. Um, we are very excited for the fourth annual Veterans Day Parade and Festival. And we look forward to seeing all of you in Escondido on November 11th uh, for the parade as we celebrate our hometown heroes. And if you have any questions about the parade and festival, go to escovetfest.org uh, for more information. <laughs> 